Reading Avenue is an accessible, comprehensive literacy program that supports students as they learn to read. It follows a path that builds foundational literacy skills. Let's explore how to use Reading Avenue through BoardMaker Online. From my BoardMaker Online homepage, I select Curriculum. Then scroll down and find Reading Avenue. Select Use It, then US. Look at all the curriculum right here at your fingertips. Wow! Let's explore what all is here. The first folder is the Program Docs folder. Here you will find the Program Overview, which contains steps to getting started, the FAQs, where you can find answers to common questions, the white paper to learn the research that guided the design of Reading Avenue. There is also a parent letter. You can print this out or add in your own comments to keep the family in the know about the letters and word endings you are studying in class. There's even a section so parents can extend learning outside of school. Reading Avenue is aligned to standards so the last document will detail the activities and how they align to each standard. Now you're ready to dive into the curriculum. Pick a unit based on your student's interest or a topic covered in your curriculum. I'll choose Habitats. Everything I need to deliver three levels of instruction on Habitats is right here in this folder. First is the Avenue Selection Tool. It will tell me which avenue to start using with my student or group of students. I'll select the answer that most closely describes my student. At the bottom, it tells me where to start. I can choose to start at the level it suggests or start with Avenue A to build literacy practice and confidence with less rigorous material. Now, I'll select my avenue. I'll follow the advice of the avenue selection tool and choose avenue B. The resource folder is my go-to for planning instruction. Here, I find a parent letter. Next is the quick lesson guide. This is my roadmap. It tells me exactly what activities to complete each day for this topic in this avenue. I will print this out and now my lesson planning is done. The remaining files in this folder are visual schedules for each day of instruction. I can print these schedules to provide visual supports for my students. Back in my Avenue B folder, the next subfolder is the quiz folder. There are two quizzes here and these are unique to the letters and word endings in this unit. These are not part of the lesson plan, but I can use these to collect data at a cadence that meets my needs or my district's needs. The next subfolder show each of the books. I'll start with book one. The first resource here is a print version of the book. I can print it and add it to my library or the child's home library. Next, I see activity sets for each day's instruction. If I click on day one, look, all the activities from my lesson plan are right here. I can play them from here or go back to the folder for more options. I can assign the activities to students by selecting the Assign button and selecting the student in my roster. Then the student could complete the activities from their account, at school with me, or even at home. I can also add the activities to my playlist if I want to access them through my classroom view or on the iPad. One click and I'm ready to teach. Below the activity sets are the individual activities. These are the same as the activities in the activity set. And from this view, I can print, play, assign, 
or add each individual activity to a playlist. Next week, I'll select Book 2. It has the same structure. Print books, activity sets for each day, and individual activities. Notice the pattern and predictable instructional routines? Below the subfolder for each book are two more important folders. First is the Interactive Books folder, and second is the Printable Books. You might consider printing or assigning all the books in a unit to your student at the beginning so they have access to books throughout the unit. One more cool feature, if I've assigned or play any of the interactive books, look what I see. Students have the choice to read on their own where it'll read aloud for them, or they could read with an adult. If they choose read with an adult, I'll see teacher text that will give the adult ways they can engage with the student on most pages of the book. No child was ever harmed by having access to too many books. Data and research are clear. Children who have access to print reading materials have better literacy outcomes. That's it. You have everything you need for a thousand hours of literacy instruction. Start your students down the path of literacy now.